Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Kakudash, with Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. It's his true name. Or Kakudash, the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push this word in all truth and all sincerity. And this is going to be another installment of Random Thoughts. And today, we're going to get into how in the last days, there's, there are going to be more, you know, scoffers and mockers, as the scriptures say. But I'm going to focus on how, as of late, it's been day of the circumcision, okay? And what I've been noticing for the past... Uh, couple of months but especially the past few weeks to a month that there are more and more scoffers you know false prophets you know arising but it's you know like I said it's day of the circumcision all right you know those that know that they're Israelites all right but they're pro uh, you know preaching false doctrine Okay? They're not going through that one way, that one path, that one righteous path. Alright? You know, and it does say in um, Matthew's 24th chapter, then the latter uh, times that there's going to be uh, uh, many false prophets. Alright? That are going to try to deceive you. But the, but the elect won't be deceived. See, they, um, they have strong delusions on them. That's why they don't believe in the RFID chip uh, being the mark of the beast. You know, you got guys out there that don't believe in the 12 tribe chart sign. All right. Um, you know, I, I recently saw uh, this one guy saying that the Romans, the 13th chapter, is not talking about obeying, you know, the laws of this land, okay? You know Esau's laws, you know, and then you and then ultimately you got all these guys that just don't want to follow order, all right, due to their pride, and that's the main reason of why they um they uh they um you know come up with these uh, uh false doctrines, all right, because it says in the uh, book of Sirach, I think it's the tenth chapter, it says the beginning of pride is when one departeth. Uh, from his maker all right and when you uh, um, when you have that pride you know you you uh, start leaning to your own understanding you don't take heed to wise counsel you believe that you're always right all right and that your teachers all right your elders are are wrong now and that you surpass them okay Look, the Lord, I believe it's a, it says in the book of Jeremiah 3 and 15, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but it says that the Lord is going to set up pastors, all right, that are according to his heart, all right? The Lord has set up, you know, the, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, the Lord has set up men to teach this word properly, correctly and directly, all right? You know? But you you know you, you're gonna have you know you're gonna have those of the circumcision that just don't want to fall in line, alright? And they're just coming back in the reincarnation as you know uh you know these uh, uh wicked scribes and Pharisees and you know, and, and wicked false prophets, and, and the, you know, those that and, and were out of order, man. You know? They're falling into their lot. Everyone's falling into their into their same lot, all right? Hey, do you have the house of, uh, of David and the house of Saul? That's what it ultimately comes down to. The Lord is building the house of David up right before everyone's eyes. And the one thing about you know uh, King David and 
his um his rulership is that there was order okay and uh, I, I'm reading the book of first uh, I just read the book of first Samuel and I'm reading the book of second Samuels right now and King David put one of his own men to death because he didn't follow orders if I'm not mistaken it was Abner okay Abner got put to death all right I can't uh, he killed one of uh, King Saul's men because uh, uh, his brother died so the Lord put him to death man or um, King David you no know, uh, put an order for him to get put to death and then not only that he a uh, uh, King David uh, uh, cursed him in his seed line man all right that's how serious this thing is and then and, and, you know you look at the house of Saul the house of Saul were a bunch of niggards all right that were rebellious starting with King Saul all right King Saul was just you know you know hard-headed he was wicked all right he didn't want to follow protocol and that and that's that's how you uh uh you know you uh scoffers you know scorners you you false prophets out there that come up against uh the men of the lord you just don't want to get an order ultimately all right you don't like having uh, another man above you and correcting you okay And it says um, in the book of uh, Proverbs, the 29th chapter, I think the first verse, it says that basically um, he that is often reproved hardeneth his neck. It, you know, it may start off with, you know, you know, one thing here, one thing there. And then as time keeps going by, you get more hard-headed. All right, you become more rebellious. And that's just the way it goes. It's because you're not humbling yourself down. And the Lord's looking for meek men, all right? Those that are, are, are humble, that can take reproof, take rebuke, all right? Those that don't have a proud spirit, you know? And like I said, as you've been noticing, it's more and more of you uh, uh, Israelites that are scoffing, man. And, and, and you're supposed to have this, you know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Hey, but, you know, the Lord, um, you know, can, can send you a strong delusion. He can put a wicked spirit on you, like King Saul. At first, King Saul was a righteous man, all right? Because it said that, um, if, um, I'm roughly paraphrasing, it's in 1 Samuel somewhere. But um, pretty much when, um, uh, the, you know, pretty much when the Most High was with him, that he changed into a, a new man, right? He had that, um, Salaki, hold on real quick. But yeah, he, uh, once um, King Saul... Uh, was anointed, you know. Uh, he, you know, he had a, a new, refreshed spirit on him, a righteous spirit. But it also says uh, uh, later in the um, uh, later in the chapters that um, that the Most High departed from him, and then a, a wicked spirit entered into him. And that's what you uh, you uh, all have, man. You have that wicked spirit on you, all right, deceiving you. Lord said the deceived and the deceiver are his. Alright? Just because you you think that your doctrine is is right, that that um that you have all the answers, that doesn't mean that it's true though. Okay? That doesn't mean it's true. And you're all about to find out soon because the Lord is gonna start making examples out of you um out of uh, you, you false prophets, 
okay he he is right now okay um he's spiritually showing it you know uh, showing the uh, the elect what not to do because you you all don't have the oil all right you don't have the the oil simple as that but you know the the, the lord's going to show his might all right he's going to physically start taking you out and it's, you're going you're gonna to be public examples all right and that's going to put fear in the congregation all right because it tells us in the book of um i, I believe it's in uh, timothy I, I i could be mistaken I, I forget where this is at i think it's in uh first or second timothy though it talks about how rebuke before all rebuke before all so um so that all may fear and that's what the Lord's gonna do. The Lord's gonna uh, uh, make you as a public example so we all can fear. So we can stay on the right track. The elect, uh, uh, you know, I have to add. Okay? You know, but, hey, the, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is gonna stop you, okay? Very soon. It's just only a matter of time. You know, you, you uh, wicked, you know, uh, uh, false prophets and scoffers and scorners, mockers, you only have so much time. Because it says in the scriptures that, um, oh man, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. I think that's how it's uh, um, worded in the book of Job. Alright? You only have but for a moment. And in due season, you're going to be uh, taken out. Okay? And, uh, you know, I think I'm going to end it off, you know, <clears throat> with that. Now, hopefully this was an edifying lesson for those, you know, who are listening. And, you know, hey, just stay on track, you know, those that, that are in the right mind and in the right spirit. You know, don't get uh, persuaded, you know, uh, by these demons out here, okay? Stay focused and just, you know, just constantly examine yourself. You know, just take heed, you know, to wise counsel, you know, the brothers that are amongst you, you know, follow and listen to orders, okay, have a humble spirit, because, you know, that, that's going to get you, uh, uh, you know, in the, um, in the right, you know, uh, direction, okay, it's going to lead you to the path of salvation, and with that, um, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom.